Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. Clippers and the Nets. The Clippers are up to seven and a half, and the total here is... 220. You could start uh, with the Kyrie coverage if you want, Mindy, or you could just break it down <laughs> from a numbers perspective. I'm sure everyone, though, might have uh, comments or predictions, uh, especially the fact that, you know, it certainly is something that, uh, you know, is going to impact uh, the teams, I would think, coming into uh, this game personnel wise. So I'm not sure of the status of the. Uh, uh, new Brooklyn players, nothing really on the uh, report yet, whether or not they are ready to participate. Um, what do you have on this one? Yeah, I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, I think that's kind of what it comes down to. I mean, we got a whole bunch of unknowns now, uh, you know, since that uh, trade has been made. Uh, so I don't really know which way to, to go here, but I um, I think when I need to do that, I'm going to take this, uh, this home team, especially with the Clippers. You know, I think they're playing better you know, right now, but still to me, just two and two over their last four games here, still only putting up about 111. Um, you know, that doesn't like wow me anything when you're, you know, having to win by eight here. I'm going to take the Nets. Um, you know, they are six and two in their last eight games. I know everything's going to change up a little bit. I'm kind of basically, uh, you know, only selecting this one based off of home court advantage here. Maybe uh, some folks with a little bit to prove as well. Taking the Nets today, plus seven and a half. All right, Mindy takes the nets here, plus the points at home. I think the the uh, the line itself probably indicates maybe that Dinwiddie not ready to uh, necessarily join the club just yet, and Morris as well. So start to see what some of the comments are uh, here in this one. And it looks like just a lot of Clippers support here. Timothy Sackett joining us today. So he's going to take two of the first three games and parlay them up. Angel says uh, take the Clippers in this one. Ron says going with the Clippers. Greg's saying Clipper, take the Clippers, right? So Ron not confident with the chemistry. Looking at uh, Tony's comment uh, in the Discord today, he – I think he feels like uh, the situation will be positive for Irving. I pointed out uh, the controversy regarding uh, the owner who had already singled out uh, Kyrie, you know, when Kyrie was in hot water with his anti-Semitic comments. And we know that, uh, you know, the way that uh, Cuban, you know, in his Jewish heritage, uh, uh, maybe he almost was one that led the charge to make sure that Kyrie apologizes and and you know kind of understands that he what he does when he says things just to be controversial that he affects people so sometimes i think Kyrie when i make fun of him a little bit more of a drama king uh, when you know calling him a flat earther or whatever i think he's just a guy who wants his uh, opinions paid attention to and nobody uh, you know, when you have the platform, quote unquote, the platform, uh, that's where you have to be careful what you say in these type of situations. So to me, that's the, uh, the that's the oil and water, to, uh, in my opinion, Mindy, that Kyrie will have to prove himself. But I think he will have much more. I think there'll be much more accountability with Cuban. True. Uh, there maybe things you know look like any you know and I, I I'm you know I'm a big uh, fan of Nets ownership but uh, whatever the you know the players were ruling the roost there a little bit and I don't know if that's necessarily the case I think you know Luca had to sign off on that they talked about who signed off right and Luca is a player that you're going to run something like this by uh, as well. Maybe the Mavericks are that desperate because it does seem like this is a real, real struggle with Luca. We know Luca when he, you know, he does everything he can, and they still can't win these games. So we'll see how it plays out. 
Uh, like I said, Tony in the Discord said maybe this is the right situation. Uh, when I first heard, I'm like, wow, you know, because I just remember those comments that uh, it was almost like Cuban set up his own interview to single out uh, Kyrie's comments when he made the uh, anti-Semitic comments. So let's just continue on, though. People can add what they want there. Um, Nets here for percent better. Angel says he's not very well. Timothy says maybe this is not a great situation for the Nets. So any more plays here? Greg talking about the road trip here. So, but again, yeah, no, uh, no KD still. And uh, Kawhi and, uh, yeah, does, it does look like everything is status quo for the Clippers today on their injury report. I would think that these guys are playing. So, all right, Mindy, in this one I'll be taking uh, uh, the under in this game with Brooklyn and the Nets, uh, with Clippers and Brooklyn today. That will be my play. Just want to make sure I get everyone's plays in here. Right. Uh, Barton says the Nets will cover. Nets defense gets upgraded uh, without Kyrie, I guess, is what he's saying. Is But they still have to have a guy like Morris come in. So Angel says uh, with Morris leaving, maybe he they have no defense now. And Dinwiddie as well. So And... More comments about the trade there. And welcome to Alan Smetana here today. I know he's been here before. Man is here today. Hello to man. <laughs> and then dumb <"Duh>, man. <laughs> welcome to man. First time commenter. So hopefully we hear more from you. All right, and they're also wondering about uh, Christian Wood. So uh, trying to keep up here, Mindy, a little bit. We can move on. I think we got the plays in. So did everyone get their play in? Want to make sure. All right. That's what I said. The man was on there also. Oh, really? Yeah. Man and the man? Yes, the man. That might be how far I am behind right now. <laughs> it's like the fifth to, to last comment made. Okay. He likes the dumb man likes Clippers easy. And, <laughs> there you uh, go. Man likes, uh, interesting that man and dumb man. <laughs> in the chat at the same time. Green, oh, yeah. man and dumb man. And then All gonna, right. Like, Everyone give their play on this one. And I'd like to welcome Keadra Westmoreland here today as well. I do like the under in the Nets game uh, with these two teams. It looks like the action might be coming in on the over, but obviously the Nets are going to be even more shorthanded right now uh, with Irving now gone. So um, these are already teams that uh, trend to the over this season. Clippers are 24 and 32 to the under. I said under, and uh, 14 and 19 to the under as a favorite. We'll note that Clippers are a strong over team as a favorite. TJ says, you know, it's him. <laughs> Is that you, Demand? <laughs> Ziggy bringing some plays tonight as well. Okay. Uh, we got to get on with more games here. Didn't mean to. We could talk more Kyrie. We're going to get another chance in a minute when the Mavericks come up. Oh, goodness. So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the Tony'sPicks.com website right now and check out our All Cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks. And be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TONYT at checkout to save 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.